All right, we'll come back to a story of time, 70 years, of course, since those D-Day landings, and we'll come back to your calls in just a second. But we thought it was important to find out, as so much focus rightly is done on the events from 70 years ago, what does D-Day, Normandy landings, actually mean to children today? So we send LBC's Tom Swarbrick to Thames View Infants Embarking. You may recall they're good friends to this show. They help us out with our tale of two schoolboys. Young Ryan is a pupil there. Uh, but Tom Swarbrick has been speaking to Year 2 pupils. Now, they're ages 6 and 7 about what they know and what D-Day means to them. Tom. Good morning at the uh, excellent Thames View Infant School in Barking, and I'm back at the head's office, nothing really changes, uh, and we're joined by some bright young things from year two, from Miss Cochrane Jones's class, and they've been learning a bit about D-Day, about its importance uh, and its ramifications. Let's just go around the table and introduce yourselves, if I may. Young man, what is your name, please? Elijah. Elijah, and you, sir? My name is Samuel. Samuel, good morning. And over here, I think we've got Molly. Hi, Molly. Hello. And Faith, hello. Hello. And Shahithi, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Good, thank you very much um, for coming and talk, talking to me about D-Day. Let's start with Shahithi. What do you know about what happened on D-Day? Um, well, Germany tried to threaten France, and, but, the, but English came and, um, and defeated the Germany and they fled. Very good. And Samuel, do you know how the English came to France? In what way? How they got themselves there? They'd gone to airplane or boat. Very good. That's excellent. Do you know where the, the boats had to cross to get to France? Mm, I think um, really the water, because boats go in the water, certainly. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. They came across the English Channel, didn't they? What do you make, Molly, of all those men, those thousands of people who had to go and fight for our freedom? They were, they, some of them were like 18 and they needed to go to war to fight as well and a lot of people died there. Mm. And what, what do you make of those men of faith? What do you think about them when you think of D-Day and what happened there? I think it's, I think it's really sad. Mm. Say that again, Samuel, that was a good word. I'm oh, sorry, Elijah. That was brutal. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Really, really awful. Um, why do you think it's important that you know about what happened on D-Day, Faith? Actually, I don't really know, but I'm just going to take a guess. I think it's important because our country actually helped another country mm. to stay in their own country. And Samuel, do you think that learning about what those men did makes you... More grateful for what we have now? Uh, not quite. Not quite. <laughs> That's OK, maybe you're not quite. But I know, Molly, you feel very grateful for what happened. Yes, I do. Yeah. Um, Miss Cochrane Jones, they're a credit to you. <laughs> they, they've got, they, they know their stuff. They would put some people to shame. Um, how difficult is it to, to teach them about what happened on that day? Because it's quite a difficult thing to explain to, to six- and seven-year-olds. Obviously, we wouldn't tell them about the brutality mm. of war, and we certainly wouldn't want to glorify war in any way. Um, but it's definitely important that children understand the sacrifices that many families made um, to shape the society which we have today. It's important that they understand those moral lessons mm. and that they're never lost. Mm. So are you going to be, children, having a, a day of perhaps seeing what happens on those beaches at D-Day? Uh, as the commemorations take place today? I think so. You think so? Good. Well, you can watch it on the television, you can listen to it on the radio. Thank you so much for having us this morning. It's very nice to meet you and to talk to you about it. Uh, and, Nick, I think, uh, I think it's rather impressive from these, uh, these young charges. Yes, that's Tom. Thank you, Tom Swarwick, reporting there from that school, the Thamesview Infants Embarking. Did you get the impression that Swarwick was learning a few things as well for the first time? What happened? The what? He had no idea. He was being taught by the children, I think. Uh, thank you indeed for the staff. And well done, kiddies. You did really, really well.